in this video we are going to learn about abstraction so what is abstraction abstraction is the process of hiding the implementation and showing only functionality to the user that means i will show you with an example suppose thing that the user is driving a car so the user knows that when he apply force on brake the brake will or the car will stop so braking is my function but behind this braking function how this brake actually work see this is the implementation how the brake is working but the driver doesn't need, want to know that so the implementation part is hidden only the function is visible to the user that is what is called as abstraction okay so in abstraction it will let you focus on what the object does instead of how it does it okay so in java we can achieve abstraction using two ways one is by using abstract class if you are using abstract class partial abstraction is possible okay now one more procedure or one more way to achieve abstraction is using interface by using interface we can achieve 100% abstraction so we can learn about abstract class so first of all we can learn about abstract class let's go to intelij and create a new project file new project click on next i'm going to create java project so click on again next and i'm going to name this as abstract demo okay opening in this window now in src source folder i am going to create a class right click new then java class and i am going to name this class as vehicle okay and press enter i got the class vehicle this is our normal class now if we need to make this class as abstract class what we need to do instead of this public modifier we need to write the keyword abstract see abstract now this class is an abstract class okay now inside this abstract class we can write both abstract method and non abstract method okay first of all i will write, write a method so vehicle is my class so i am going to write a method drive okay so method name always start with a lower case letter then put bracket then put curly braces inside the curly braces i will write my for statement used for drive okay <clears throat> now i am going to make this method void so i don't need any return type so this is the method declaration and inside the curly braces i write my code statement so this is our normal method see now i am going to make this as an abstract method what i need to use i need to use the keyword abstract now this method become an abstract method but there is a problem see in abstract method there should not be body okay body means this curly braces inside the curly braces what all things written it is our body so in abstract method we should not write body so we need to delete the body so this is what we call as abstract method a method without body okay let me write one more method abstract void um breaking okay this is an another abstract method now inside this abstract class inside this abstract class we can write both abstract method and non abstract method so i'm going to create a non abstract method um travel okay so curly braces and i'm going to write used for travel okay see inside this this is an abstract class inside that class i can write both abstract method and also non abstract method that's why it is called as partial abstraction okay now i need to uh, write body inside this or i need to use this method or i need to write body inside this abstract method what i need to do i need to create a child class okay so click on src new java class and i am going to create a class called cars okay class name always start with upper case letter see i created a class now how to make this as a child class we have learned in inheritance for creating a child class you need to use the keyword extends see now write the parent class name that is vehicle see now you are getting an error so when you go near the error you can see that you need to implement the methods okay implement method means there are two abstract method we need to implement them in our child class so when you go near this we can see implement methods click on that and we can see our two abstract method that is driving and braking see so when i press okay i will get the overridden method now inside this method i can write my code statement 
<clears throat> See, I am able to write my for statement. I am driving, and here I am going to write what I will write. I am is out um, braking function. Okay. So in abstract class, we can write both abstract method and non-abstract method. Now, one more thing is there. If I'm going to create an object, okay, let me write the main method here. And inside the main method, I'm going to create an object of this vehicle class. Okay, let me create an object. So first of all, write the class name, then write the object name. I'm going to write car one equal to, for creating new object, use the new keyword, then call the constructor. See, I'm getting error. This is the procedure for creating an object, but I'm getting error. Why? Because this vehicle class in us, vehicle class is an abstract class. So it cannot be instantiated. That means we cannot create object from an abstract class. Okay. So we cannot create object from an abstract class. So how to create object? For creating an object, you need to go to the child class. See, child class. So let's create an object in this child class. So first of all, I, I will write the main method. Inside the main method, I'm going to create object. So what is the class name here? Class name, it is cars. So I'm going to write cars. Then uh, let me write the object name as car1 equal to new and call the constructor. Now, when you write the object name and put dot, see, I'm getting both methods. See, abstract vectors are breaking and driving and non-abstract method is travel. See, I'm getting all the methods. So car one dot driving is my abstract method and car one dot, see, braking is also my abstract method. So I will be able to get both abstract method and non-abstract method. Now, why we are using this abstract class? That is the question, okay? It will make our code more readable. See, the user, the, just want to know what the functions are. He doesn't want to know, uh, suppose think that this is a vehicle. He just want to know what are functions that vehicle can do. It can be used for driving, it can be used for braking, it can be used for traveling, but he doesn't want to know how the engine works, how the brake works, how the systems in the vehicle is working. He doesn't want to know that. The user just want to know how, or what are the functions of this vehicle. And in our subclass, we will write how the functions are implemented, okay? For that purpose, we are using abstraction to hide the details or hide the implementation. We are using abstraction. So in abstract class, you need to use the keyword abstract to declare both abstract class and methods. And instead abstract class, you can write both abstract and non-abstract methods. Now you cannot create object. That means it cannot be instantiated. That means you cannot create an object from abstract class. Then implemented using inheritance for child class. We want to create a child class if you want to implement our abstract and non-abstract method. So creating child class, you need to use the keyword extends. And there is one more point, multiple inheritance is not possible. What do you mean by that? Now I'm going to create one more parent class, okay? So right click on SRC, new and Java class, and I'm going to name this class as taxi, okay? And instead of this public, I will make this abstract class, okay? And I'm going to create a method abstract void um, transportation. So this is my method, abstract method. And this is my class taxi. So I have two classes. One abstract class is vehicle and another abstract class is taxi. And both these classes is having abstract methods. Okay. Now car is my child class. So multiple inheritance is not possible. That means I am extending from a parent class vehicle. Then there is one more parent class that is taxi, but I can't, at a time I can't inherit from both vehicle and taxi. That means from both parents I can't inherit at a time. So multiple inheritance is not possible in abstract class, but it is possible in interface. So we can discuss about interface in the next video.